Just as the scare over contaminated eggs was winding down, Korean consumers have been alerted to another safety concern, this time over women's hygiene products. Toxic compounds have been found in a local brand of sanitary pads with numerous reports of side effects. Park Hee-jun reports. Domestic sanitary pan manufacturer Clean Nara has begun granting refunds on Monday for consumers who purchased its Lillian sanitary pads. Customers can claim refunds through the company's website or a special hotline. The company announced its decision last Thursday after thousands of women complained of various side effects and stopped buying the products. The Korean Women's Environmental Network received online complaints from over 3,000 women who experienced health disorders after using the Lillian products. After analyzing the complaints, it was found that 2,000 out of some 3,000 women had a change in their menstrual cycle. 68% said they suffered much more severe menstrual pains than before, while 48% said they suffered skin problems or that the pads had aggravated existing problems. 56% also said they developed other illnesses, including vaginitis. A team led by Gangwon National University professor Kim Man-gu researched 10 different brands of sanitary pads and found that Lillian pads had the highest amount of volatile organic compounds, chemicals that can easily evaporate and can lead to health problems if toxic. Volatile organic compounds are endocrine-disrupting chemicals that may be the cause of various female disorders. The body can get rid of them, but it may take a long time for the body to recover. Some of the women affected are currently preparing a collective suit against Clean Nara. A law firm is leading a large group of victims through online communities, where 4,000 out of 28,000 community members have stepped up to submit the class action. The sanitary pad scare is also leading many Koreans to look for toxin-free alternatives, but the government has been slow to respond to the public's concerns. The Ministry of Food and Drug Safety began studying all sanitary pads produced or imported in the past three years on Friday and plans to center on the amount of VOCs contained in the products. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.